Good morning. Um, just going to talk to you this morning about treasure. Um, when I was a child, if anybody said to me, what do you want to do when you grow up? I said I'd either wanted to be an archaeologist or a teacher. Um, well, I didn't become an archaeologist. <laughs> I became a teacher. Um, archaeologists dig up treasures from the ground. I just worked over very many years with little treasures. Um, so, um, uh, hopefully you can see my PowerPoint this morning um, because um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what do you treasure? Um, and, um, you know, there may be lots of things um, that, you know, you're thinking over now um, as we wait to see the pictures on the PowerPoint. <laughs> um, you know, things that you treasure that are really important to you. Ah, right. Okay. So, have we got it? <laughs> Can I just say, actually, before, before the pictures come up, I went to um, a conference, uh, it was an online thing on Friday, about the use of Zoom. Um, and this chap had the most thousands of pounds worth of equipment. And he was, he was doing it from his living room and we were all there waiting on his every word. And it was thousands, he had every high tech gadget going and then the doorbell rang and it was the postman and the dog started barking. So with all that uh, high tech, he still had to leave the screen and go and open the door. So what do you treasure? And I've got a series of pictures and if we can have the first one, um, for some of you, it might be um, a fast car. Now that doesn't really appeal to me because I can't drive, but for some people, they look at cars and think, oh, I would really love one of those. Um, and then when the next um, model comes out, oh no, I'd trade it in for something else. So maybe it's fast cars that you think of as treasure. Or in the next picture, it might be um, the latest a big house with everything matching. I used to know somebody uh, years and years ago who wouldn't have anything in their house unless it matched with what was already there. So this beautiful house here, it's got a lovely swimming pool by the looks of things in the front. So maybe, you know, the treasure is a big house with everything matching. The next one, please. Maybe, oh, this is my Lilliput Lane models. Right, I've got 42 of these and they're in a cabinet at home. Um, and, you know, everywhere you go, you think, oh, well, I'd like, like another one of those. So, you know, for some people, it might be their collections. And in the next picture, which will be familiar to anybody that's been in my house, um, somebody who will be nameless in my house has got a model bus collection. And actually, this looks like a lot of buses, but actually, he's probably got about four or five times as many as this. So, you know, maybe it's a model bus collection. Maybe if you're not into model buses, Lilliput lanes, houses or cars, maybe it's about having the latest PlayStation. Now, this is a PS5, according to what it says on the side. I don't know if that's the latest one, but I know at the moment people are desperate to get them for Christmas. And as fast as they come into shops, they're gone again, or even into distributors can't even get hold of them. And the latest problem with them, apparently, is that the, um, they can't de the delivery firms can't deliver so many because they come in huge boxes. So maybe it's the latest PlayStation that you're thinking of as treasure. Or... Maybe it's just money. If only I had a bit more money, I could do so much more um, with my life and, and so on. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 6, for your heart will always pursue what you value as your treasure. Now, there's nothing wrong in any of these things, but it's about what place they have in your heart. And I know that um, Steve's going on to talk um, from Philippians this morning. And um, if we can have the next slide, Paul says in Philippians 3, he says the following. Yet all of the accomplishments that I once took credit for, 
I've now forsaken them and I regard it all as nothing compared to the delight of experience Jesus Christ as my Lord. You see, um, before he became a Christian, um, Paul had everything. He had fame, he had money, he had probably all the latest gadgets of the time. But he's saying, you know, uh, I, I forsake those because the best thing in life is knowing Jesus as my Lord. And that's quite something to say. In the next picture, I don't know how clear this is going to be at home. Um, what can you see? Oh, it's not too bad. What can you see? Now, I've not got a huge audience here um, this morning, but it is a pile of oysters. Okay, a pile of oysters there. And in the next slide, um, occasionally, and I don't know how this works, um, people can open up an oyster and they can find a pearl. And in Matthew, again, it says this. The kingdom of heaven is like a pearl merchant on the lookout for choice pearls. When he discovered a pearl of great value, he sold everything he owned and bought it. And Paul, he found um, the pearl. He found the fact that Jesus Christ um, was everything to him. And it was the pearl. He was the pearl of great worth. So... What do you think of as treasure? Um, the kingdom of God is within us. It's a realization that God is not only up there, but he's also in here, in my heart. And we can experience the joy of a personal relationship with Jesus. And that's what Paul discovered. And although, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with the things that we've just um, looked through just now. It's about what place that does that have in your heart? And as I was just finishing off when I was doing this, suddenly into the brain, which proves that it does work, um, a familiar, it's quite an old song now, a familiar song um, came into my mind and I'm just gonna read it to finish. Um, so the chorus goes, rejoice, rejoice, Christ is in you, the hope of glory in our hearts. He lives, he lives, his breath is in you, arise a mighty army, we arise. And I'm just going to read a couple of the verses to finish. God is at work in us, his purpose to perform, building a kingdom of power, not of words. Where things impossible by faith shall be made possible, let's give the glory to him now. And then really, really an important verse to finish. Though we are weak, his grace is everything we need. We are made of clay, but this treasure is within. He turns our weaknesses into his opportunities so that the glory goes to him. So um treasure you know what what's the most important thing paul would say it's about knowing jesus and i would say the same too thank you and it we're back to um melanance